Hey, welcome back to Gold Souls. Now, if you've been keeping up with our Instagram page, you've probably noticed our 80s takeover, and it was basically just to prepare you guys for this upcoming video. Now, if you've been keeping up with my personal Instagram, you've probably seen my Stranger Things posts. Um, my aunt, my cousin, my brother, and I went to the Mayor Klein's Fun Fair based off of the fair that's gonna be in season three that they put up at the Santa Monica Pier, where we basically waited three long, hot hours in the sun waiting to take some pretty cool pictures against some Stranger Things themed backdrops. There was a Curiosity House, which was supposedly supposed to have a Demogorgon inside, but there was none. So we kind of looked like idiots screaming in there waiting for something to happen and it didn't. Um, but nonetheless, we survived. Now I've always wanted to do an 80s themed photo shoot or be in an 80s themed film or production design an 80s film just something 80s related, it's one of my favorite decades, and since Stranger Things season three is coming out in a few days, I took it as a good excuse to finally do some 80s hair and makeup and do a really fun inspired look for you guys. I took some inspiration from the 80s in general and Stranger Things, basically kind of creating my own version of a Hawkins High School student. Now is this video possibly a desperate cry to Netflix to cast me if they decided to do a Stranger Things season four? Um, well, maybe. Possibly, I don't, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, but if it were to happen, I would not be mad about it. So if you want to dress up 80s for a party or a themed event, stay tuned because I'm going to give you guys details on the look. I'm going to start with my Urban Decay Vice palette and I'm going to use the color 1985, which is a really fun, bright, kind of hot pink color with shimmer in it. And it's perfect because Stranger Things season three is set in 1985. I'm going to blend that throughout my crease and take it up to my brow bone as well to make sure it's really visible. And I'm also gonna take it down to my lower lash line. And of course my hair is blocking what I'm doing. My bad. Next I'm gonna go back to the Vice palette and take a color called Arctic and I'm gonna spread that all along my lid. And then I'm gonna take it into my inner corner as well and bring it down a little bit to the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna go into my Naked 3 palette and take the color Blackjack, and I'm gonna spread that right into my crease. A lot of 80s looks that I looked at online had a lot of dark creases and dark outer corners, so that's what I'm doing here to add some definition. And that's also a technique that you can see in Nancy's makeup for the season three posters as well. So now the crease is a little bit harsh for me, so I'm gonna go in and blend it out. And then I'm gonna go over the top of my lid again with a color called C Note, just to add a little bit of a highlight in the center of the lid. So now I'm gonna take some eyeliner and I'm gonna go all along my lower lash line just to add some extra definition. This was something I saw across pretty much every single 80s look that I checked out online. Then I took the blackjack powder again from my Naked palette and brought it all along my upper lash line. Then I just went and blended out again and it's time for mascara. And then to get rid of any excess powder from my eyeshadow, I just sweep it off with a brush. For the lips, I decided to use the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lullaby. It's a really nice fuchsia color with some sparkle in it. In order to capture that frosty look you see in a lot of the lipstick in 80s makeup ads and commercials, I decided to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in St. Tropez. So I already have my brows and my foundation done and my highlights and my blush. For 80s blush, it's really important that you carry it above the apples of your cheeks um, to your temples as well to kind of get that exaggerated look. For my hair, I went with a half up, half down style. In order to create these fake bangs, I basically took a section of my hair in the front and made it into a half ponytail that kind of just folded over on itself and left the ends out. And then I secured it with bobby pins and clips. To get that big volume, I basically just did my hair how I normally do. I do twist outs and I took my twists out. And once I put my hair in the style that I wanted, I just separated all the curls to give it that big frizzy 80s look. And of course you can't have an 80s look without a scrunchie. And that's it for hair and makeup, let's talk about the outfit. So for this outfit, I ordered this Hawkins High School t-shirt off of Amazon. You can also get it from Hot Topic as well. And I ordered these green striped tube socks to match. This is kind of a typical 80s summer look that you see in a lot of old pictures, as well as in the show. And I just incorporated it with some jean shorts that I already have in my own Converse. And I ordered the scrunchies online uh, for about $10 on Amazon. Now let's talk about props. I was really excited to find these authentic 1980s walkie-talkies. These are pretty similar to the models that they use in the show. The models they use in the show, I believe, are the realistic TRC-219. And I wasn't able to find the exact one, but it's the TRC-218, so it's pretty close, not that far off. Here's me doing a couple shocked Stranger Things poses. You better believe I practiced these. 
The Coke can is pretty cool because you can't buy these in stores anymore, but they were giving them away for free at the fun fair, and so I was really happy to take a couple of them home with me. The cool thing about New Coke, if you don't already know, is that this was a flavor of Coke that came out in 1985 that basically everyone hated, so Coke ended up pulling them from the shelves. So now it's kind of this like rare novelty item. You guys, I honestly hate soda and I do not like Coke, but I tried a sip of this New Coke at the fair and I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't bad. And of course, a Stranger Things photo shoot is not complete without Eggo waffles. I was really happy to do this not only because I love the 80s, but because Stranger Things is one of my all-time favorite shows. I got into it about two years ago and I've been hooked ever since. I just think the Duffer Brothers came up with such a great concept because they were able to take from movies and aesthetics that we already love and create something fresh and new with it. And I cannot wait to see what happens in season three. You guys can call me crazy, but I really like this look. I didn't take off my makeup or change my hair for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this video. If you decide to try this look out, please take pictures and tag Gold Souls on Instagram. I would love to see it. Make sure you leave a comment below to let me know if you want to see more 80s videos or more decade themed videos. And let me know what you're most excited about for Stranger Things Season 3. Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.